Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial and in this video, actually before we get started, I want to tell you guys a little story. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but in like the last 10 videos, I've been breathing really heavy. I actually have been having a hard time breathing. And also, I know you guys can't see my house, but my house has been getting really dusty really quickly all of a sudden. Like I would clean it one day and then the next day it would just be dusty again. And I'm like, all right, I know I'm not that dusty of a guy, so what the heck? So when my last video was processing like five minutes ago, I had an idea to go down in my basement and I looked in my, uh, it's kind of like my heater where all my air goes through and the filter for my air duct system, it was caked in dust. So as soon as I opened the metal door and I looked at it, I was like, holy crap, that is what I've been breathing. So even now you guys can probably hear me I just changed it like five seconds ago but uh yeah definitely found the solution to that so good health here I come and uh, it'll probably take a while for you know um like all the fresh air to run through and for the dust to collect but public service announcement check your air filters for your duct system even if you've been uh, like breathing normal because I don't know all right, wow, I wasted a minute and a half telling you about my breathing problem, so let's get started with the tutorial. So again, whenever your database is first created, it calls this, and all this does is it creates a new table. So on upgrade means, okay, I changed my database structure, or I just wanna upgrade my database for something. So what do we want to do in here? Well, what we need to do is we need to execute a query, and essentially we're just gonna say, drop the current table or delete the current table and then create a new one so hopefully you would have new code in here maybe you would like more columns or less columns if you wanted less columns but the first thing we need to do is delete the current table so drop table if and this needs to be in quotes because it's a string all right, so drop table if exists, and after this, you just write the name of your table, so table products. <laughs> so this right here, drop means delete in SQL language. So this is gonna delete the table, and in the next line of code, obviously, if you just left it like this, you would have no table to work with. So what you need to do is you would actually need to call that onCreate method again, and pass it along DB because it takes this parameter. So again, that's all we're gonna do on an upgrade. Delete the current table and then create a new one with the new structure, whatever it is. All right, so we took care of all the housekeeping stuff. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna add three more really easy methods. Now remember I said, this class right here is for working directly with your database. So we're gonna add one method for adding a new row, which is essentially a new product to the database. We're gonna add another one for deleting a product from the database. And I'm gonna add one more. And the last method is just take your database and convert it to a string. Now, the reason I wanna do that is because then we can print it out right here. All right, pretty cool. So the first thing is, hold on a sec. Just take a drink. Oh, wow, that tastes good. All right. So where was I? All right. So let me just say add um, a new row to the database. I probably should start commenting all of these methods. I think I'll do that from now on. Probably a little bit easier to follow. So public void add product. Now whenever we add a new product to a database, what we're going to do is we're actually going to pass it in a product object because each of these objects is going to have an ID and a product name. So what we can do is we can just put product product and then we can extract the information and it'll be a lot easier to work with that way. So what we want to do here is write content values. Now content values is a really handy way. It's actually a class that's built right into Android, 
but it allows you to set a bunch of different values for different columns and then they allow you to insert all of them in one statement so it just makes inserting rows into your table really quick and easy if you don't really follow along with it you will understand in like two seconds by the time we get done coding this method so right now I'm just gonna store it in a variable called values it's essentially a list of values that's all so new content values alright so the first value we want to put in here is put in as you can see it takes two parameter the first one is what column do you want to be storing this in well we'll just say that the product name is all we're worried about and the second one is what is the value that you want to put in that column so whenever we pass in a product what we can do is we can actually call a method called get product name and that's going to retrieve the product name for that and of course doesn't take any parameters so essentially we're going to put the products name into that column now we actually do need to do a couple more things first in order for this to work the first thing is we need this object right here this object is pretty much our key to the database so we can just treat it as DB and set this equal to get writable database so again this DB symbol right here is now equal to the database that we're going to write to simple enough obviously now instead of just calling execute SQL there's actually some other methods you can call on your database one of those is insert now the insert takes three different parameters and actually if we if you ever do this if you ever want to know the parameters or more information about a method select that method and hold down control and hit Q on your keyboard so the first thing is the table the second one is no, we actually don't even need to worry about the null second parameter and the third one is the values and it takes it in content values oh look at that we have that right there so the first thing is the name of your table which is table products the second one is that optional null I'll tell you guys about this in um, probably the next tutorial and the third one is a list of values oh well look at that we only have one item in here but it'll do for now now this line of course is going to insert a new product or a new row into your table and the last thing that we have to do is just for housekeeping we need to close your database to say okay Android we're done with it you can have that memory back so after we add the functionality to add a product again that's gonna happen whenever they click add what I want to do now is make the method to delete product from the database that is a lot easier whenever I uh, add those comments give myself some room all right so public void delete product and in here we're gonna pass in string product name all right so this is how we're gonna delete products all right so whenever let's say that our list of products was tuna ham and meatball so if they ever want to delete a product they can just type meatball right here and click delete and then it's going to search your table for meatball and delete any meatball instances so again if they ever want to add something type the name and add it if they ever want to delete something type the name of the product they want to delete and hit delete so therefore we pass in product name which is going to be whatever they typed in and what we're going to do after this is first actually we can just copy that whole thing I don't need to explain that again get a reference database just like before and we can just call DB execute SQL there are different um, methods that you can call on this object but this is probably the easiest way now in order to delete a single row from a table we don't want to use drop because drop means delete the entire table what we want to do is we want to delete from and then after this you need the name of your table which is delete from this table 
where, and then it says what clause do you want to use to delete from? Well, we just want to delete wherever the column product name and actually let me make sure I don't type this weird alright so we want to do equals so equals and then we want to escape that and product name so one second I'll talk you guys through I just want to make sure I don't mess anything up because I could potentially do that and it looks pretty good right now so again whenever you want to delete something from your table you're gonna hit delete from this table wherever the product name is equal to whatever product name we passed in which is gonna be whatever they typed in and of course and your SQL statement with a semicolon and this semicolon is just for ending this line of code right there.